Hi, we're going to start off, I'm going to just give you an introduction to VCAR Pro, showing the difference between CAD and CAM, and what we're going to do is make a plaque with Gabriel's name on it. So, uh, I said start VCAR Pro and just take all the defaults, and that gives you this 10 inch by 10 inch square, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go maybe 6 inches by 4 inch plaque. So I'm going to start off by going File, New, and uh, we'll have it 6 inches wide by 4 inches uh, high. And at some stage I'll learn to switch to metric, uh, but I learned this in inches, so there we're going to go. And it's a half inch thick piece of wood, and zero, 00 is in the bottom left hand corner where this red spot is. Um, so, there we go. And the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, put Gabriel's name on it. So I'm going to use some text. Click the text button and put in Gabriel. And this is going to be uh, text height. It's probably going to be, uh, what, two and a half inches and it's going to be centered and what font will we use well i guess uh, let's use verdana and see what this looks like this is way too big so what i'm going to do is uh, just keep playing with this so let's just make it one inch and now i can right click twice There we go. I can pick it up and click away. So that was pretty straightforward. Close that and then I'm going to put a rectangle around it um, and I'm going to uh, put a fancy corner on it that looks like that. And uh, I'm just going to drag out So that, that looks like that, that's fine, close, uh, click away, I'll center all these things later and then we'll actually cut out the main plate, so we'll do that with another rectangle and externally radius one and we'll go something like that, that'll do, and click away, uh, now if we Gonna have to do this somewhere. There is a there we go. Uh, align selected objects. So if we select them all and align them, we can align everything to the centre of the material. That looks a bit odd, doesn't it? A bit too close there. So let's just click it twice. And Move it over a bit. But let's centre those and see how that looks. Yeah. Centre. Still think that puts that too far over. So I'm going to click this twice, move it over a little bit so that I'm more happy with it, and then I'm going to select both of these and right click and say group. And now let's select everything and center it in the material. Yeah, that'll do. So that's it. I've finished with this, uh, with the, the CAD, the computer aided design part of this. And now we're going to do the computer aided manufacturing part, which is the design of tool path. So I'm going to come over here uh, and use the switch to tool paths tab. And here we are. And what we're going to do here is we're going to cut out, uh, first of all, this whole area inside this rectangle. Uh, we're going to take out uh, like this, which is called pocketing. So the first thing we're going to do is a pocketing operation. And we're going to say that the start depth is the surface of the material. So the start depth is zero and the cut depth, well the whole material is only half an inch thick 
So let's make this uh, 0.2 inches. And what tool are we going to use to do that? Um, well, we're cutting wood and I think we'll use a half inch straight end mill like that. Uh, half inch and that'll do. And having done that, we, we've created um, there are some other things that we can do. Yeah, let's let's ramp that in, and then hit calculate. Oh, no vectors selected. Ah, need to ungroup that first of all. Ungroup. Right, that's the vector. Calculate, and we can actually preview what that will look like. Uh, preview selected toolpath and we can see the tool here going round and depending on what computer you're using you might want to use the animation of the tool or not. When I do this on Susan's HP laptop uh, this takes just forever. So That'll do for that, and we can now move this around and see what we've done there. So that's the, the pocket. Uh, close that. Now, go back to. Uh, we're going to now cut out the name, and what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use a V bit to just cut around the edge here. So, uh, V carve engraving start depth um, well the start depth is going to be 0.2 because we've already pocketed that down and we're going to use the 90 uh, degree uh, feed bit and let's see what that looks like and let's preview the selected path And of course, when we're actually cutting this, we will have to change the tools between the pocketing, get rid of the half inch end mill and put in the V bit. Good. And so that's what that looks like now. And now what we want to do is to cut the whole thing out. So we come back and we choose this one, close that, and what we're going to do is the profile, and we will use a quarter inch end mill, and we need to say whether we're going to go, the thing about CAM is all these tools actually have a specific size, so if we were using um, laser cutting, we'd have a little thin laser beam that would follow that line but we're here we're using something which is quarter inch so do we want to the quarter inch to center itself on this line go around the inside of the line or go around the outside of the line and I'm going to choose going around the outside and going around this direction and the other thing we have to think about um, and we'll talk about climb and conventional all that stuff uh, at another time the other thing we have to think about is are we going to cut all the way through because um, if we do, when it finishes, this whole piece is going to fall out. Um, oh, we also need to say what the cut depth is. This material is 0 0.5 inches, so we could say 0 0.5 inches, but if we said exactly 0 0.5 inches, it could be that it doesn't cut exactly all the way through. So maybe we'll say 0 0.501 inches. Uh, and I'm not used yet to exactly what that needs to be, but this is this is fine for now. And we need to put in some tabs. So we're going to say edit tabs, um, and we're going to have 3D tabs. Um, square tabs is when the cutter goes along, stops, goes up, goes along, stops, goes down, and goes along. Uh, 3D tabs it can do much more quickly. So we're going to have 3D tabs. Uh, eighth of an inch, that'll just be fine 
half an inch long um, and let's see where it puts them let's, uh, so we've got four tabs let's add them in and let's go that a little bit further away from that edge and that a little bit further away from that edge that's absolutely fine close calculate uh, and it will always give you a warning um, that it's going to cut all the way through that's fine and now if we preview that aha uh -huh. this is maybe not good because we run off the end there and there so maybe we should bring the whole thing in a bit smaller but you get the general idea um, we might even get away from that so um, if we go uh, reset preview and preview all tool paths we can now see that's ramping down it goes down in on a ramp and then it comes back to, <coughs> to clear it out <coughs> and this sort of watching this becomes a bit um, a bit like watching clothes in a go around in the tumble dryer and I'm sure that once we've actually got the machine set up and we start videoing this happening that will also become compulsive for us and boring for everybody else. There we go. And the reason that took so many passes was the way that the tool path was set up. Um, because if you try and take too much at one go, you risk the, um, the rent a bit. So, um, I wouldn't actually cut this like this, I'd go back and change it a bit. But I've given you the general idea, and we've got three tool paths here. We've got pocketing tool path, the v carve tool path, and the profile tool path. And that was just that to give you an idea of the difference between CAD and CAM and how it all fits together in VCarve Pro.